Hi, my name is Jack Simila, and I'm with Analytics Corporation. Today we're going to talk about sampling using a parallel particle impactor, also known as a PPI. And a PPI is a size selective sampler. In this case, it's a, a size selective sampler uh, used to sample for respirable particulate. In order to do the sampling, you need three basic items. And uh, the first one, of course, is your is your PPI. And these PPIs, um, if provided by Analytics Corporation, we can preload these with any type of filter material you request. In this case, it's going to be a pre-weighed PVC filter for doing respirable particulate. The second item is a personal sampling pump. And you'll notice we have a length of tubing attached to the pump. And this length of tubing is used to connect the pump to your parallel particle impactor. And the third item is going to be a calibration device. And in this case, it's a field rotometer and um, with a uh, that's connected to a, uh, a parallel particle impactor with a calibration adapter on it. And um, if you purchase your uh, PPIs from Analytics Corporation, you we can provide you at no charge uh, a personal sampling pump to, to, to collect your sample. And what we do is we pre-calibrate the pump for you at our laboratory, send it to you along with the field rotometer and the uh, calibration adapter and a PPI um, set up especially for doing calibration only. So uh, to get started with your sampling, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is when you get your pump kit in from analytics is you're gonna uh, take it, you, you get an inventory sheet with this, check it against your inventory sheet, make sure you have all your parts and the pieces that come with it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the, a length of tubing to the end of your pump. And then we're going to, uh, on the, uh, the rotometer with the calibration uh, set up for the PPI, we're gonna connect the tubing to the PPI and then your rotometer will be connected to the top of your calibration adapter, okay? And the calibration adapter fits snugly over your PPI. Now, if you, if you get this set up from us, we're gonna have this already connected for you, so you won't have to do any of that work. You'll have the, uh, the calibration adapter will be connected uh, to your uh, PPI. So anyway, you, you, you do that, and you're gonna, uh, you're gonna turn your pump on, and it's a good idea if you let your pump run for you know a period of time before you use it or before you check it and i would say if you let it run for about 15 minutes or so and then you're going to check your rotometer uh there's a uh, and uh, if for you but for those of you that haven't used a rotometer before um are those that have a uh, rotometer will have a little ball in it and that'll kind of float up and down based on the flow rate of the pump and what you want to do is take your reading at the center of the ball. That's how we calibrate with, that, with our rotometers, uh, the center of the ball. And it should be reading right at 2 liters per minute. So once you check that and you verify it's running at 2 liters per minute, you can, you can turn your pump off, disconnect your calibration uh, setup, and you want to take your PPI from your, uh, from your Ziploc bag and... Uh, this is where you have a chance to start marking your paperwork and your, your PPI so that the, uh, your sample identification on the PPI will match your paperwork. Now, analytics will put a serial number on every PPI we use, and you can use that as your sample identification. And if you do that, then all you need to do is transcribe that number onto your chain of custody. Write your start time on your PPI. First, uh, you want to connect your PPI to your pump. Connect it to your collar or to the worker's collar. And then turn your pump on. And that's when you want to record your start time. Now, the one thing you want to be careful about is you have four inlet holes on the, on the front side of this PPI. Make sure that these holes are unobstructed at all times. You can sample pretty much in any orientation that you want to be in. If you, if there, if you or your worker is lying on his back, underneath of something, if you're bending over, if you're sideways, you don't have to worry about 
um, invalidating the sample uh, from the orientation of the PPI, but you want to make sure that you don't obstruct the inlet holes on this PPI with clothing or anything else that might, you know, keep airflow from uh, happening. And sometimes it might be necessary, even though you have a clip to the collar, to put a second clip or maybe duct tape or something below this so that uh, it stays straight out so that it doesn't twist around on, on, the, on the worker and maybe block, uh, block the airflow to the inlet. And uh, that's about it. You, you let it sample for the length of time that you have planned in your sampling strategy to sample. And when you're finished, uh, you turn off your pump. You take the, remove the clip and uh, um, the, the PPI from the worker's uh, collar, and then record your stop time. Calculate the number of minutes that you, you sampled, and you would have sampled at two liters a minute. So if, uh, for instance, if you sampled for 400 minutes at two liters a minute, your volume, uh, the total volume of air you would have collected would be 800 liters. So remember, these particular PPIs are two liters per minute. And then uh, record, record the sample date and the, uh, the volume on your uh, chain of custody. And when you finish with that, there's a little label that comes in your package. It says, Place on PPI after sampling. So you just remove that and, and, and you remove that and you place it over the holes. Your PPIs are identified. They match your chain of custody. Uh, you take the uh, your tubing off, reconnect your black cap and uh, send that to the laboratory along with your chain of custody and we'll take care of the rest. Uh, and don't forget on your chain of custody to indicate the type of analysis you want. If it's respirable dust only, I would, I would say just mark respirable dust only. If it's respirable dust or respirable, respirable crystalline silica, uh, you can indicate that on the chain of custody and uh, we'll, take, we'll take it from there. So that's it. It's that simple to do a, uh, to collect a sample using a PPI. If you have any questions, though, our customer service and technical groups are available uh, from at 8 o'clock in the morning to 6 o'clock in the evening, and you can call us at any time or you can email us, and we'll be glad to help you out. If you have any questions, please give us a call at Analytics Corporation, 804-365-3000, extension 5108, or you can call our 800 number, 800-888. 8061. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.